Despicable Three. Look how empty this is. Morning. Morning. It is now ten to eight. We have actually managed to make it pretty much at early entry. We're just heading up to Universal Studios. Sounds like they're doing like a big announcement thing for opening the park, doesn't it? Yeah, Jimmy's here. <laughs> Superstar. I love the smell of a theme park in the morning. Oh yes. <laughs> ah, fresh theme park air. Fresh theme park air. <laughs> Breathe in that good theme park air. Breathe in that good stuff, baby. <laughs> that was so quick getting through. There was literally no queue for getting through with your passes. Then there's the bit where they check that you've got a hotel room key for or a appropriate annual pass for the early entry. And we're straight through. So the only thing's open for the early entry is the Minions ride, but we did that last night. And then Diagon Alley. So we're gonna go head down to Diagon Alley. It's probably my favorite area in either park. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's good, yeah. So beautiful. So beautiful. Just like Jimmy. I'm not beautiful. You are. I'm a good boy so for you good if you're a good person. Oh, that's true actually. You are a good person. You are handsome but it doesn't make you good. Exactly. Wisdom is universal. <laughs> We can't wait to get on this later after watching the first film, can we? Seems strange just walking past family, doesn't it? <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> Love you, Dom. Someone's making a phone call. <laughs> there we go in here then, Jimmy. Through the brickwork. I love this bit. Crack me, there's no one here. Never seen it this empty, have you? It's about as busy. Morning. It's crazy. It's a busy. I know. Literally, this is the only time I'm ever going to get an empty shot of this, so I'm including it anyway. Have you actually seen this? This is crazy. The perfect photo opportunity when no one's sat on these stairs. To be fair, it's usually us sat on those stairs, isn't it? Ruining the shots. <laughs> if you've seen our last video, you know this is where we always sit whenever we have a Florian Fortescue's ice cream. It's amazing. Jimmy's busting to go on Gringotts now. I cannot imagine it's gonna be a long way. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be ten minutes, Jimmy. Might even. We just got to put our stuff in the lockers. This isn't a ride where you can take any loose articles on with you, so we're gonna go and grab a locker and put all the bags away. These are teeny tiny lockers, but you can fit a rucksack and, well, you can get an idea of the size of it there. Gringotts time. A Gringotts time. I guess you gotta make the most of it before they take off the goggles, huh? Yeah. So, because they had come through, it was literally so good. Like, honestly, it was dead quiet to get on. Weren't it? I highly recommend getting a Universal Hotel so you get early access. Yeah. I wake up early and get on the boards. Literally, it was pretty much a walk on. Weren't it? We only had seven or eight people in the pre show, didn't we? Seven or eight people. There was hardly anyone, it was very spacious. What do I say except highly recommend it? <laughs> there was only people on our row, people on the back row, and then the back cart was empty. It was, I've honestly never had anything like that before. This is the pet shop where Jimmy adopted his bone truckle last trip, weren't it, mate? He's got pride of place on the side on his bedroom now. I don't think it's open yet, dude. I was wrong, they were open, but we're the only people in here. Simpsons ride, gift shop's always open in the theme park. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> gift shop's always open in the theme park. Jimmy was wanting to buy a Forks of Phoenix teddy. We've told him to think about it because it's still early days. We don't want to spend all of his money straight away. He's got a lot of teddies already. He ain't happy. He ain't happy, no. We're entering Nocturne Alley this way now. Go check out Borgen and Burks. <laughs> Probably the emptiest we'll ever see it because it's normally packed in here. It's a really cool shot though. You can buy one of those little shrunken heads for your bedroom. <laughs> That'll freak out your friends, won't it? 1895 for a talking toy. How do you know? How do you, I don't know. Six, nine, eight, seven, six, nine. It's quite like... Quiet. Yeah. Exit in Diagon Alley. Wayfaring wizards, wizards welcomed. 
welcomed, been done and gone. <laughs> done and gone. We've met a couple of awesome families this morning. We met Freddie this morning on Diagon Alley and then we've just met Heather, Jude and James. And they've told us that Hagrid's does open at nine o'clock or at least a, also like a holding area for a queue, but it should open at nine o'clock. So we're thinking we might get the train over and try it just because the park seems a little bit emptier today than we've certainly ever seen it before. So we think it might be a good idea for like today to like be worth trying, try and get on it. Yeah. Oh, so I hope so. <coughs> but to be honest, I don't see how Hagrid's could be better than Gringotts because Gringotts is amazing, isn't it? Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Yeah, love it. Go get the train over. Some lovely air con. We've just spotted Doncaster up here. Donny Donny. It was only three days ago we were at Donny. <laughs> Jimmy just realised Doncaster's cancelled. See it? Cancelled. Cancelled. <laughs> Go through nine and ten, run through the wall. We'll have a slow on through the wall. Train's just come rolling in. Get excited. The train that's just pulled in, we've been a little bit too slow for, but they said the next one's in three and a half minutes. I didn't know how quick they were in between, but three and a half minutes ain't bad. We could play a pop song and then uh, we will be ready to go back on again. See you in Hogwarts! It's just starting to drizzle a little bit and we've been told it's a two hour wait for Hagrid's but it's what like just gone nine o'clock now yeah so say if we could get on it and off by 11 and then it's given out the rain for the afternoon but then at least we've done it for the holiday and it just takes off that little bit of pressure so I think it's gonna be worth it so excited Are you excited Jimmy yeah but there's only one thing you have to go into the queue for Hagrid's to get a photo with the train now oh yeah it's That's weird right Everything has to go into a locker, so fingers crossed next time we see you, we will have been on Hagrid's. It is now half ten. We joined the queue about ten past nine, so an hour and twenty minutes, we've been done and we're walking through Universal Studios and it was amazing. It was literally the best ride I've ever been on and I thought it was maybe going to be a little bit overhyped, but it was so good, weren't it? Hagrid's is the goat. The goat. Yeah, goat. greatest of all time. Unbelievably good. It was so good. Like the boosts in it, like the drop, like the animatronics, just like everything about it. And it's so fast as well. Yeah. But like smooth and fast. Like honestly, it, it does blow everything Universal else out of the water. It, it is worth the hype and it is worth the queue. And the good thing about the queue as well is it's constantly moving. There are water fountains in the queue, but one mistake we made is we didn't take our phones or money or anything with us, but there was somewhere you could buy snacks and drinks in the queue. Including beer, you can have a cold beer if you're at Hagrid's. Get a little beer. Hagrid's so, amazing. <laughs> Jimmy just wanted to get a drink and nip to the loo before he does his proper review. Then he literally, I'm speechless. Really? Jimmy reckons this is a Hagrid's Easter egg. We side in this time. We're walking through the jolliest place in Universal Studios, Florida. We're gonna go and head out onto City Walk to get an early lunch. It should be about 11 o'clock by the time we get out there. Uh, just because we prefer the options on City Walk a bit more, don't we? Yeah, the park food we always like. Yeah. I don't know, it just feels like a bit more of a meal out there, doesn't it? Whereas if you grab stuff here, it's a bit of a, just a grab, isn't it? Doesn't it? Done it, isn't it? Go sweet. Yeah. You're hungry? Hot. hot, yeah, it is hot, isn't it? Woo! I need some air con ducky. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do is check and see if cowfish is open just yet. I'm hoping, I'm sure all of them will be about 11 o'clock, won't it? We were gonna go for a red oven pizza or maybe a hot dog hall of fame, but I think we could do with like a sit down indoors in the air con. Obviously, at a lot of table service, you just get like the refills for soda for free, whereas if we go to like a quick service place, you've got to pay for each of your drinks so just thinking given that we've had like a long queue we could probably do it like a little sit down in the aircon that's the plan anyway this is the cowfish not the cowfish the cowfish sushi and burgers oh do you remember this jimmy build a fish do you want to build a fish it looks like we're the first people in here what are you thinking mate Dragon bites. I want to see if it actually is dragon. Me and Jim aren't the biggest sushi fans. Well, we're not sushi fans at all. I think I might have this shrimp in Swiss burger. It's got mushrooms in. 
No, last time we were here, like two years ago, Jim had this one, I think. A single hunk of love. It comes with peanut butter, bananas, bacon. It's insane. Jim's ordered a dynamic duo. I didn't it. see what that was. What was it? Well, I need my phone. It's burger, grey short rib, sweet roasted garlic, cheese, tomato onion jam, lettuce onion, tomato onion roll. Yes. $16, isn't it? $16 and under 200 calories. <laughs> In your dreams. Jimmy's kids meal looks pretty impressive. I'm eating this. Yeah, that's your pudding. Wait. That's your pudding. That that's a Swedish fish, isn't it? Yeah, but it's something that's connected to it. Yeah, yeah. So these are the dragon bites with fries and apples. For a kids meal, to be honest. It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. It's good that you've got some fruit as well. You've got loads of fruit. Proper chicken as well, though. Yeah, proper. They did do like a nuggets option, but Jimmy chose the grilled one, didn't you, mate? Yeah. Good choice. Proper. And here is the shrooming burger. It looks absolutely amazing. Sweet potato fries looks good too, so that was the extra dollar. This is my dynamic duo. Looks and smells incredible. Looks and wicked, doesn't it? To get sucking into that. Looks amazing. Perfect little pot for dipping sauce, eh, mate? Eh? Yeah. I would say it looks amazing and it tastes amazing. Does it? Yeah. Do you know what the sauce is? But it's really nice. Good. Proper good. Proper good. I love sweet potato fries. <laughs> I don't want to be coming across as too overly positive on the side of this, it's not my mindset. The words of George Harrison, how oh, sweet Lord. Yeah? Delicious. Yeah. Nice. The garlic. I can see the garlic. Really, you can taste the garlic then, yeah. yeah. Strong, beautiful, red and nice. It's quite saucy around this side, so I'm quite nervous about getting it all done. Saucier than a carry-on film. Pay what, $15? It's not bad. We've always said it's really reasonable here. Reasonable, yeah. And here is the cowfish check. So we've got a couple of sodas for the adults, one child soda. That's the burger I had with the extra dollar. Jimmy had the dragon bites. Jim had that dynamic duo. So the total's $53, adding on $9, $10 for a tip. Do you think it's worth it, Jim? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Well, we're full up as well, aren't we? Proper filling. I definitely want to come back this holiday. This holiday? <laughs> we'll see. We like a bit of variety. Variety. We are. <laughs> that was an absolutely amazing meal. The only little gripe, not gripe, but our server was pretty miserable. Like, I didn't see a crack of smell, like nothing. Like, it was very... I don't know. She needs a couple of lessons at Margarita Hall, I think. Yeah. Down, won't she? Yeah. But, I mean, it, you know, no one likes going to work, do they? Yeah, I just want to ask you, like, it. is everything all right? Your meal, you like, even if it was horrible, you just go, oh, yeah, thanks. You wouldn't <laughs> want to say it to her, would you? No, no. It was still, it was good food. Didn't dump it or anything. We've just left the cowfish here, and now we're going to head to Coldstone Creamery for pudding. Here we are. So what you do here is you pick your ice cream and then you pick what you want to mix in it. So last time I think Jimmy did gummy bears and Twix. We've been out for like 30 seconds and it's already melting. We've ordered, well Jimmy's ordered, it's a vanilla with gummy bears and sprinkles and it comes to just over $8. What a mess. <laughs> Jimmy was hoping there was going to be a salted caramel flavour but they haven't got that there. You have to get that from Harry Potter. Like toffee. toffee. Jimmy wants a bit of a cool off on his head, but I don't know if he's. Did you get your head in it? No. Why? Did ya? I'm glad we only got one ice cream to share because I am proper full up now. Are you? Yeah, it's nice though. Got me bears. Good choice from Jimbo. Yeah. Well done. It's given out rain this afternoon. Sort of is the outskirts of Hurricane Dorian. It's looking a bit dark over there. We've just had to do the run of shame, literally got through the turnstiles and it's pouring with rain now. Pouring. Not, not a good look with a dad bod. <laughs> what you found? This case is Popeye. <laughs> Popeye? <laughs> it's not Popeye, Jimmy. <laughs> it's Pappy. 
Okay. Hello, Papi. <laughs> It's hard to think, like a mere four minutes ago, we were sat having an ice cream. Within a few minutes, it's settled down quite a lot, but we're gonna put the camera away in the rucksack now while we dash down to Spider-Man. But she's gonna drag her, so she walks slowly to Spider-Man. No. We've come out of Spider-Man. We've got all the superheroes out here. That's cool. We timed that perfect, didn't we? Gonna meet Captain America. Yeah. Are you gonna ask him if he's related to Shaggy? Daddy. <laughs> hey, superhero, how we doing? You have fun today? What's your name, soldier? Jimmy and Sanjay, you're gonna be fun. Sad guys, right? Oh, my folks in line for Captain America. You would like to take us home? All right. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> nice. I thought that rain was going to be here to stay, did you? Yeah, just a quick downpour, wasn't it? Because those clouds were so dark, I didn't think it would be clearing up this quick, but it's gone absolutely roasting hot again now. We are hey, making our way around to Kong now, Skull Island. We've never done this standard queue for that before, and I know that there's a scare actor in it, so I'm a little bit... A little bit nervous. I'm sure Jimmy will protect me. You'll stand in the way of any scare act, won't you? Of course I won't. <laughs> Kong showing up is 20 minutes, so I can totally live with that. You watched the film for this on the aeroplane, didn't you, on the way here? I know, and then I did. When you watch the film, you really realize how different the ride is. Yeah. Excited to do the ride again now that you've seen the film again. Yeah. Whoa. This is cool though, isn't it? bug in the queue when we saw videos but we're not actually queuing down that way which is a shame i'd like to have seen that this is the ride vehicle but again you can't film on the ride so we're going to put the camera away now aren't we follow the rules bye that was the first time because it started raining again that we didn't do the outdoor bit it just went straight into the cave didn't it god jimmy watch out that's well deep it was the Kalani like narrator again, weren't it? And it was funny because at the end there's the animatronic and she says, um, don't even, don't move a muscle, don't even breathe. And then there was about the flashes of about three iPhones, weren't it? Yeah, there? it always happens. I oh, know, I oh, know. Kong doesn't see it, Kong prefers Android though, so he doesn't, doesn't <laughs> recognise iPhone. So yeah, Kong won't bothered, but you know, against the rules. What's your favourite bit? I mean, it's at the end they say they say they're gonna like collect the team. I like hearing what they say, you know. Yeah. So you yeah, like yeah. it? You like seeing what driver we get? No, not seeing what driver we get. What they say at the end, what they say is they're gonna pick up the team. You know? Yeah. Yeah. For. Oh, well, I was gonna say something I didn't notice. Um, for I haven't noticed yet. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. When after those bats came, you know, there's a shadow of Kong. Is there? Where, where those bat things were. Oh, I didn't notice that. Jimmy's favourite superhero is Thanos, isn't it? If anyone says who's your favourite Avenger, you say Thanos is. <laughs> and look what we've just found. It's an Infinity Gauntlet signed by, is it Josh Brolin, who plays Thanos for $1,800. Dad would actually kind of like that because oh. he's actually playing someone in Goonies, you like Goonies. That's true, that's true. So we did Spider-Man Kong, and now it's back to Spidey again. Five minute queue. Jimmy loves this ride. I spotted an Iron Man Easter egg. Yeah. Like, so, so what? An Iron Man a tribute. <laughs> like, you can look out for it. When Spider-Man's on the vehicle, there's a building. On the building, on the building, there's like a picture of Iron Man. It's quite hard to see, but there is one. It's just coming up to about two o'clock.
o'clock now, but we think we're gonna go and head back and check out the pool for a little bit, when it, weather permitting. Yeah. It keeps sort of raining. I think it is meant to be quite wet later, but... You get wet in a swimming pool. Exactly. So rain, it doesn't matter, and it's definitely warm enough to go in the pool, isn't it? Seems like a discovery cave when it's raining, people just carried on drinking exactly. the boys and life is good. As long as there's no lightning in the area, eh? We're just gonna head to the gift shop on the way out of Islands of Adventure before we go. You're looking forward to a bit of pool time? Yeah, I've been in the pool yet, so... Oh no, we need to check it out, don't we? This is where we're heading to next, this Islands of Adventure trading company store. I'm really hoping they sell the Hagrid's t-shirt here. So it was such a good experience, and the t-shirt looks wicked, don't it? Yeah, when I have a good experience, like a cheeseburger in paradise, I'll buy a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is the t shirt I want to get, which has got all like the creatures on it, and it's got Hagrid's motorbike adventure. So, how much is this? $25 bargain. That's just so cheesy. I love it. Do you like it, Jimmy? Yeah, I think I found one that kind of fits. You're going to get one for you? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to be twinning? <laughs> We're not going to be tripling. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> We're not tripling. You're not joining in. In total for the adults and the kids, Hagrid's tea it came to fifty dollars and six cents, including tax. I've just come round. <laughs> he can't say anything. He spent fifty dollars on two tops of Margaritaville yesterday, so I'm loving it. That me and Jimmy are going to have matching T-shirts. Usually it's fathers and sons and mothers and daughters. So why can't me and Jimmy? Share a Hagrid t-shirt. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So thank you for watching our epic day at Universal, getting to try Hagrid's for the first time. Well, the first time in ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we'll remember this day for the rest of our lives, won't we? Yeah, absolutely. And not only because it's on YouTube, <laughs> but because it's... Uh... She watches her own videos. <laughs> <laughs> but because we got tried Hagrid's and that was such an amazing ride. We've had a wicked day, haven't we? An amazing day. Yeah. So, we shall see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Hagrid's! So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and, you know, do all that good stuff. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye!